The PBCC Community Garden got started in 2007. A student asked me if I'd become the advisor to a new horticulture and environmental club that he was starting at PBCC. I told him no, but he was persistent, and here we are, right? This product of this garden was one student's idea and has been around uh, ever since. So look what you can start if you try. I think the PBCC Community Garden is a wonderful community. We have a lot of people from different backgrounds, from students to older folks who live in the community. It's also a wonderful place to learn from each other in this growing community. I learn things from other gardeners and hopefully we learn from each other and I think it's a wonderful way to exchange uh, knowledge about gardening. Before the garden, I really didn't have much uh, experience with gardening. I have a small garden at home with my mom and you know we do what we can, but it was really when I came here when I learned, when I started learning about gardening. I really like about the community garden that it's just a very welcoming, comforting place where it's okay to make mistakes. If you have ideas, it's always okay to talk about them. If you mess up something, it's not a big deal. You could just try something else and if you ever need help, there's always someone willing to try something out with you. We often have a, a waiting list for plots in the vegetable beds, but it's open to the community. It's a community garden. We don't charge for plots here either. That's one thing that's different uh, from some of the other community gardens. And we have lots of student volunteers who come to the garden and community member volunteers who come and don't necessarily have a plot, but just want to help out. We grow a lot and we feed uh, people through different agencies like the Haven, the Blue Ridge Area Food Bank, Foods Not Bombs, different churches, Meals on Wheels, uh, Loaves and Fishes Food Pantry, and more. Here at the Community Garden, we don't expect you to know a lot about gardening or dedicate your whole life to being here. We encourage that you come out here and you learn what it means to grow your own food and the importance of knowing where your food comes from because I think fresh food is something that we often take for granted. We've been gardening for a really long time, but I think there's always something to learn every year, whether it's through successes or failures. And this is a really beautiful space. We have this wonderful natural space around us. There's just always something really good to learn here, no matter how much experience you have or don't have. I think the, a wonderful thing about growing food is learning about the process of growing food, seeing it from seed to watering it and seeing its process of growing. I think that it's really amazing that you get to have this life experience growing food for yourself, seeing where it comes from and the whole cycle of its growth. And I think people will really enjoy it. The community garden is my happy place. And I just really want to make sure that people are aware that this place exists and that people come and visit us and don't feel afraid, uh, we welcome everybody here. I want our community to think about what is it that we as a community are growing and supporting. By having the community garden here, we're telling the story that we care about growing our community, we care about making a space for interacting with nature, we care about some amount of self-sufficiency, about passing down knowledge of how people have survived for thousands of years. The story we're telling is welcome. Uh, you're allowed to be here. You're allowed to grow and, and support each other.